Hi everyone, welcome back to Goodwill Easter Seals Miami Valley. Shop goodwill.com, big warehouse. And we're here this week to highlight some of the treasures that people have donated to us. Because you know what? It is April and Earth Day is April 23rd. So we're going to celebrate today some of the great things that we have that never made the landfill. Thanks to our donors that donate these great things to us. So the first thing I want to show is a pedal wagon. And oh my gosh, I remember my grandmother's basement. She had one of these and we would go down there for hours and ride on it. It is in great working condition. It just needs a little bit of TLC, some painting, but it's the coolest thing. So get on there and bid on this. But wait, there's something even better. We have the Star Wars. Hey, Michael's behind the camera. He's the biggest Star Wars fan I know. What's this called? It's a land speeder. So it's a land speeder. But who wouldn't want to get this for their kid? Oh my gosh. So it even works. So we're going to take off right now and see all the other treasures that Sam has. Here we go. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, everybody. Uh, so we're here in Dayton, Ohio. We've got a couple listings that we wanted to show you guys. Uh, first up today is this heavy-duty KitchenAid mixer. Uh, KitchenAid is the leading brand of mixers. We get these uh, quite often here in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, they're based out of Greenville, Ohio, which is just about 40 minutes up the road. Um, so this mixer comes with some attachments. Uh, it is a model K5SS and hoping you can get a good deal on it. All right, next up, uh, we have a very cool item to show you guys. This is a H. Gerstner & Sons Toolbox. It's a model 041B. So H. Gerstner & Sons uh, was founded in Dayton, Ohio in 1906. Um, and they've been making these really cool and unique toolboxes ever since. Uh, we think from the hardware, this one's probably manufactured sometime after 1960. Um, there's actually an international owners club uh, of enthusiasts that are all about these toolboxes. Uh, it's got a felt line, lots of different drawers, and a very cool and unique item. Okay, folks, the last thing I wanted to highlight for you today is uh, we get a lot of designer brands donated to us. Um, and so for that, we wanna make sure that you guys are shopping with confidence. So we utilize a third-party authentication company. Uh, they're able to provide us with certificates of authenticity to ensure that the brands are the brands that we claim to be. Um, so a couple of items to highlight for you today, we have some Prada boots. Um, we have some Dolce & Gabbana shoes. We also have uh, purses that we get in regularly. Uh, we have a Dooney & Burks. Um, also, this uh, Kate Spade, which as you can see is brand new, never been used before. Um, all of these items will be listed along with a certificate of authenticity so that you can uh, bid freely and bid with confidence. Um, thank you guys for joining us again today here in Dayton, Ohio. I'm going to send it back to Cindy. Hey, thanks, Sam. But like I said, I saved the best for last. I would never disappoint. These are Michael Kors boots, brand new. Eight and a half. Look at these. Never worn. Look at the bottom of those. I want these so bad. I love Michael Kors. But we also have the certificate for these two. You know, April, I didn't say this before, it's also second chance month. And what that means is that it's giving people second chances and organizations that do that. And as you know, when you shop and donate, at all the Goodwill stores and shopgoodwill.com, you're giving people in your community second chances. So I want to introduce to you some of the individuals that are getting second chances and how you have helped them because it supports the mission, it supports everything we do, and you're a big part of that. So let's watch this video. I became pregnant in 2016 with my first baby and um, at the time I'd lost my house and I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I lost my factory job, lost my house and as, as a young person, it can be hard when you don't have someone to go to for the answers. The Comprehensive Case Management and Employment Program helps low-income young adults get the training and supports necessary to enter a career and break the poverty cycle. 
a friend in my family, she did the program and I was just watching her go through it whenever she posted updates and then she was finally done. I'm like, wow, that was nothing, that was no time at all. So I'm like, <laughs> I want to do it too because I always thought there was like a barrier for me because of me having a, a kid and then me already working a job. But since um, I could do my uh, work online, that was super helpful because I could do it at my own time. And I feel like everything just worked out. It was like perfect timing to start it. And I feel like if I don't do it now, then I'll probably never do it. So that's how that happened for me. And I'm, now I'm almost done, like I'll be done tomorrow. They kind of talk to you about what your interests are and they kind of show you the job market that's out there for this and the possible trainings that you need to get there. And they help you get like on job trainings and you know, technical skills, like they put me through a welding program to get me a good job because, you know, I didn't have any skills, so they help you obtain skills to actually get the job done. I'm really proud of myself because I am doing schooling right now to get my uh, license to sell insurance, so that makes me feel really good because I never thought I would be able to be in an office job. I went from Goodwill volunteering to, okay, hey, we've got an office position for you, maybe. This can get you out of, you know, factories and stuff like that. And I'm like, are you serious? And I landed a, what you would call like an internship at State Farm. I can't say how thankful I, I am because, like I said, it wouldn't have happened. Things don't like just happen like that for me because before I really wasn't doing anything and it really wasn't gonna go anywhere. I could, I'd probably be a custodian for, until my son was 18 years old and, <laughs> and I'd probably be tired and then all that time I have never, I never tried. So like that was the main reason why I was interested in this because I wanted to do something that would, other people would be proud of me for and then I would be proud of myself for and then doing something that I actually like to do. So that, it's like a win, it's a win-win. There's like no bad thing to say about it, honestly.